Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get this cool digital numbers counter and customize it in Camtasia. All right, so let me play it for you and then I'm gonna show you how to get it and then I'm gonna show you how you can customize it. All right, so let's play it and then you can see it and it's a really cool animated you know, digital counter. Definitely got a cool effect, you know, with the numbers flipping and everything like that. And the cool thing is you can get it on the TechSmith Camtasia digital assets website. So this is how you get to it. Head over to file in Camtasia, then go down to library and then go to download more assets. This is going to open up the TechSmith Camtasia website and you want to make sure that you are signed in and then when you get over here you'll be on customizable and then motion graphics and then from here you can uncheck premium so that you can see all the free ones but basically all these motion graphics are for free if you have it on the checked free part and if you scroll down here we will go and find a digital counter which is right there now you can see that they have the two digit counter and also the three digit counter so let me show you how to download the three digit because I already have the two digit so I'm gonna click on the Camtasia button and then it's gonna ask me to open it in Camtasia okay so once you do that head over back to Camtasia and then go to library and then go to downloads and then you should see the three digit counter which is the one that I just downloaded. So I'm going to also drag that one down to the timeline so we can play with both of them. So I just downloaded the three digit and there's also a two digit one. So these are pretty cool and as usual I like to customize things and play around and see how I can use them for my projects. So First thing I notice is that there's a two digit and a three digit. Now I want to create something like a subscriber milestone type thing. And right now we're about to hit 42,000 subscribers. So that is going to be five digits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the three digit and the two digit together to make a 42,000. So let's see how we're going to do this here. And again, I'm doing this on the fly, you know, DIY, figuring it out with creativity. So here we go. So first thing I probably want to do is stack them together. And then I want the two digit first because that's going to represent the 42. And let's move these over. Actually, I'm going to make them a little bit thinner. So I'm actually going to clip a little bit of this so that we can get really close and then I'm going to move this one clip a little bit of this one as well something like that and then put them together something like this Okay, this is going to come together and then I want to change the color to purple because that is our brand colors. So when you click on it, on the right hand side, you can see all this stuff here. This is all the stuff to customize it. So I actually want to change the blue to like a purple. So I'm going to change it to this purple right here and then I'm going to do the same thing to the three digit change it to this purple right here and then there we go it's looking like it's going to be a, a subscribe counter for us and then go back to the two digit and I want to delete like with over and then million downloads because I'm going to be talking about YouTube subscribers so or maybe I won't have any text at all let's see here so I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to delete the million downloads and then I'm going to go over to the three digit. I'm going to do the same thing. Delete the text. 
so it's blank. And then there's also something else here that I potentially want to alter. I noticed there's like a, a shading happening between the two, which is making it known that they are separate. So I think I have to see which one it's on. Let me just see here. Let me see if I remove the shading, what that does. Oh yeah, there you go. See what I just did there? I just deleted the shading and it made like a huge difference. So I'll, I'll undo that. So can you see it's there now? And then, and then we'll go and remove it again. If I turn off the shading, it looks like it's one unit. Now I do notice that one side is thinner than the other. So I'll crop that side as well, actually too. So I'll crop this just a little bit just to match the other side. And now we've just taken a two and a three digital counter and made it into a five digital counter. So now let's put the correct numbers. So go back to the two digit. And like I said, we're about 15 subscribers away from 42,000. So I'm going to put four, two, and then go to the three digit. And then I'm just going to put these as a bunch of zeros. And then there you go. It changed. So now let's play this and see what it looks like. Okay. So I am noticing that they are uploading as two separate. Now there's a couple things that we can do to get rid of that. We can either already just start it from here because it, you can see with the animation, it does like from nothing, then it starts coming in and then it goes big and then it starts going into the numbers. And it does like a separation thing. So we could technically, we could technically start it from here. Let me just highlight both and clip them. And then we can move these over. And I think that should fix that problem. So let's see here. There we go. And then it does do that thing where it disappears. That's okay. I'm okay with that. And then let's add some text so that people understand what it is. So I need to add some text. So I'm just going to right click, go to insert track, insert above so that I have another track here. And then I'm going to go to my favorites because I do have some text already there. Drag it down. And then move this up a bit. YouTube subscribers. And then let's place it on here, making it bold maybe slightly smaller. Let's space out the text a bit more, but making it smaller. And you know, I'm just, I'm literally just playing around here, seeing what looks good, something like this. And then if we play it, nice. So you can see here, with playing around with the digital counter, you can get something really neat. And if you can get creative and, you know, cause I know that some people might get the two digit and they might get the three digit and they might, you know, be like, Oh, I wanted to do way more numbers. You can, you just need to put them together, alter a couple of things and then boom, there you go. You have something like this. So I think this is really cool. 
I'm actually probably going to use this on a Facebook post soon when we do hit 42,000 subscribers, which should be any time now. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up. And if you like these kinds of tutorials, I would highly recommend checking out my Camtasia course. It's nine plus hours, 70 lectures. If you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, you should definitely take the course. It's super inexpensive. The link for that will be down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.